independent estate agents. If you have a list of a thousand or above local homeowners who know who you are and you know are qualified local homeowner leads, whether you've gotten that through using our video strategy or using lead generation or some other method, how do you get back in front of those people and stay in front of them again and again and again and again, essentially pounding the streets without having, having to go out and actually do that yourself? Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We want to do stuff with our family. Being an independent state agent is more of a family decision. Like, okay, yes, as an independent state agent, you have higher earning power. It's generally a good move to become an independent estate agent but you don't want to be bloody well working all day and i use the bloody only to put emphasize what we're doing this for so you want to get back in front of people because the reasoning being if someone's seen you if, if a homeowner has seen you several times already they've seen your face what you're doing don't touch that pause button i'm doing this so if someone's seen you repeatedly as an estate agent, they've seen your content, you speak to them over social media, the different methods that you can use, they're going to relate to you a lot more. They're going to trust you a lot more than an estate agent down the road who they've never actually seen or heard of. That influences a lot when it comes to the time of booking evaluation, you actually showing up on that valuation or moving consultation or however you call it, and actually winning the instruction and helping that homeowner, it makes a big difference. A lot of people, a lot of homeowners, already have in their minds which estate agent they're going to choose. And so this is the battle we face daily where, you know, who is the estate agent who more people trust, who more people know, who more people see? You could win, like, one of the best, you can win in two, one or two ways in your area. Let's just narrow it down. You can either have the best offer, i.e. get the best price for the cheapest fee, and we know where that ends up, or you can stay in front of your ideal clients the longest and have them choose you. So what can we do? This is assuming you want to use videos and social media, such as Facebook and Instagram, which is the easiest social media to use for this. There are two things you can do. One, two. So you've got a list of 1,000 plus homeowners, ideal people, ideal clients. We get this one list of 1,000 people really fast because we create a video and anyone who watches that very, very specific type of video is already marked as a client. They've, by watching that video, they've qualified themselves. And it's really easy to get a ton of qualified leads by using that video. You can ask for that video by going to the comments and leaving a line there. You can just ask me for it and I will give it to you. We put this out for 10 pounds over Three days. We boost it, and if you've ever heard of the boost button before, you'll say, Daniel, I've been told never to boost, never to touch the boost button. <laughs> a boosted post is the same as a normal ad, it just has a timer on it, so it runs for three days. And the reason you're told not to boost is because normally when people boost, they send it out just to anybody. We're only sending it to these 1,000 qualified leads, qualified homeowners, people who are interested in selling. Of course, it's gonna work a lot better. So think of it this way. Don't boost to just anyone. Don't boost to what we call a cold audience. You need to have this list of 1,000 people for boosting to work. That The same goes for any ads. They've shown an interest, that's the now, major thing. Yeah, they've shown action. an interest in your agency. And they've what shown an interest in your agency and you can get back in front of them. That's what you're looking for. What you can do here is send out a bunch of these. 
And it's good to send out a bunch because every time they see you, they're going to go, oh, it's X, Y, and Z estate agency. They live in London. They're doing local stuff. How cool are they? Oh, I remember them. They're the London estate agency. One, two, three, four, five. Any shape you like. Let's say in this video, you're giving away a freebie, a Google document that shows them the five steps to follow for their home to sell faster. Isn't that cool? Let's say it works really well. You get lots of people in the comments saying, I want this checklist. Can I have it, please? It works really well. They love watching the video that's showing it off. It's great. We take this video, this one, we put it out as a one pound ad. And it just goes out to your whole list here, which is, you should always want to grow this list because the more people who you know are qualified, interested in your estate agency, the better, right? 2,000 people who are potential clients is much better than 1,000 people who are potential clients. We're feeding those through from our videos that we've created here. So you can ask for those. You can ask for those videos whenever you like. You can ask for these. You can ask for these. Go ahead. But now that you've got this ad, it'll always go out. And because it worked here, it'll work here. And you've always got this video going out. What's that? Why is that important? Why, how is that useful? Well, you're always going to get clients from it the same way you did when you put it out that time. So this, if you don't, this is a way of testing lots of different cool, interesting posts. And then once you've found one that works, it'll make sure that it works for you forever and it will always get you clients. Now imagine if you had seven of these. That and seven more. Don't you think that's going to put you ahead of your competition a little bit? And it'll work for you? You'd never have to knock a single door, send out a single leaflet ever again. And that's off the back of, you know, I'd say cheapest chips, but chips are expensive. So it's cheapest, cheapest candy, cheapest candy ads. <laughs> the end.